I, I actually threw it with me. Wow! All right, we're back okay. with the million okay. dollar listing New York star, Frederick Eklund. He can sell anything, as we know, anything you put in front of him, but can he guess which headlines are real or fake? We're playing yeah. Fake and News Real Estate Edition. <laughs> Frederick, you ready, baby? I'm ready. All right, let's born hand ready. it off. Yes, you were. Let's hand it off to New York One's Pat Kiernan in the MVS newsroom. Over to you, Pat. Meredith, thank you. A London woman is on the hunt for a new housemate with one stipulation. She says you must cuddle her cats. 52-year-old Alina Valdemari has six cats between the ages of 13 and 16. She wants them snuggled when she's not home. Interested animal lovers had better move quickly because she already has lots of interest for what you might call an imperfect situation. <laughs> well, I think of these British ladies as yeah. I have cats. I mean, it's a thing. Real or fake? It's real. It's real. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what's not clear here in the listing is whether you're on kitty litter duty as well, if, if, you're, <laughs> if you're part of this. All right, Pat, back to you. A Seattle activist tried stopping the demolition of a 107-year-old warehouse in an unusual way by marrying that warehouse. She said she was head over heels in love with the building's community space. She wanted to show how much she loves it. The marriage did not last. The city demolished the building anyway. Uh, there was no immediate word on whether she's moved on to seeing other properties. I don't know. It's, it's so bizarre. It's real. It's so bizarre. Is it real or fake? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Apparently, if it works once, you got to try it again. So, so the the widow has moved on now to to marry an entire neighborhood. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> that's ridiculous. That part. All right, but I still she got it. Call me. I'll sell her something. <laughs> All right, Pat. Back to you. <laughs> An Oklahoma man is suing his neighbors over their home renovations. He says they're installing floor-to-ceiling windows that face his living room. The problem, apparently the neighbors are known for throwing naked dance parties. They leave nothing to the imagination. The neighbors say the homeowner is just jealous of their moves and should consider installing blackout shades if he doesn't want to see their blowouts in the buff. <laughs> wow. I mean, this... I'd like to, I'd love to live there. This does happen in New York. It does a lot. Know, in New York, the buildings are sort of, you can see everything. Yeah, but I, don't you think people in New York purposely walk around naked so they will be seen by not others? All, not I always. Not always. I know they do. Okay, I think it's real. And I'll say fake. I'm going to say fake. Because I. why would they want to block it? What? <laughs> they would never want to block it. That's the neighbor you want to live next to. All right, Pat, back to you. <laughs> A Japanese man loves his Porsche so much that he has designed a glass garage. He's built his entire house around the car. It's a $500,000 home with views of the car from every room, including the bathroom. The owner says he eats breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day while gazing at the car from his kitchen table. Uh, we're not sure on this uh, how much it drives his wife crazy or why she hasn't asked him to pump the brakes on this crazy plan. <laughs> so you, can you imagine that? Five hundred thousand. That's more than the car itself. Yeah. Wow. It's real. Yeah. Fake? No, I'm gonna do real because I think real. it's so specific. Real. Okay. Real or fake? Huh? You got it. Oh! And I, I want to I want to show you the video on this one because yeah. it, it is video. real. Here's what it looks like. The car is right in the middle. And everywhere you go in the house, there's the car. Oh my God! Oh, he's, he's actually talking about buying another car and building another house just like this. Yeah. He's but but there's nothing else in the house. It's so sterile. It's creepy. He loves his car. Oh, that's wow, sure. that's sad. All right, Pat, back to you. The story now of a New Hampshire man who has successfully built an entire house out of Skittles. <laughs> the confectionery creation has two bedrooms, two baths, and a one-car garage. He says it took seven years and a quarter of a million dollars, but now he's over the rainbow about how it turned out. I, 
it's probably fake. I just want it to be true. I want it to be true. So I'm gonna Over the real. rainbow. Okay, real or fake news. Please be true. Ah, you're right. Fake. All right. I mean, $250,000. All right, well, I still beat you. Yeah, you yeah. did? Okay. Hey. Let me do it. give you a, a kangaroo hug. A kangaroo hug. Yeah. Yeah. That was so much fun. Thank you. Our thanks to Kat. And our thanks to this great guy, Frederick Eklund. Frederick's book, The Cell, is out on paperback now. Million Dollar Listing New York airs Thursday nights on Bravo.